Hey guys, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo. And today we're going to take a look at the latest update for Android 14, the QPR1. Now this one is beta 2. Now QPR just basically means that this is the quarterly platform release. This is anytime that they do those big feature drops. So everything that you see in these updates here is everything that will be dropping during the month of December. Now this update right here was 194 megabytes. There was quite a few different bugs that were fixed, but there's also several different brand new features. So first, let's take a look at the brand new features. Then we'll take a look at some of the bugs that they fixed, just because the brand new features is a little bit more interesting. So the very first feature that we're going to talk about is one that they added in. It's really fun. It's inside of the Google Clock. Now, the Google Clock is where you can add in any city that you want to, pretty much anywhere in any country. You can see the time. You can also see the difference of the time zone versus yours. But then they just added in with this update the local weather. So if you're curious on the weather of what is happening somewhere, rather than you doing some type of Google search, you can actually just take a look inside of your Google clock now, but there is a couple bugs. One of the first bugs is that it actually doesn't show what is happening right now where you currently are. And then also too, what'll happen is if I close out of this, and if I was to maybe go back in later, maybe within you know five, 10 minutes, it'll actually not even show the, uh, the weather. So this one is a little bit of a bug. Anytime that I reset my phone, it'll actually come right back in. Now, where you can see this is up here on the very top right hand side, you hit on settings, and it's actually right after this option here that is called change date and time. Right after this, it'll actually say the option for show weather. But as I said from before, there is a slight bug with this one. You can see that it has now disappeared, but you're able to see exactly what it would look like when it is actually fully working uh, when there's no bugs. Change number two with this update is mostly dealing with only the Pixel Fold and the Pixel Tablet as they are the larger screened devices. And it's dealing with the aspect ratio inside of the application settings. Now aspect ratio, they added in this word here, which is called experimental, just to let you know that it's not 100% perfect and it's still basically in testing. They just probably didn't want to put the word beta in there. But this one's really nice. This is where you can actually go through every single application individually and you can change how you want them to show up. Some of the applications are better when it's full screen. Some of them look a little bit better half screen if you're going to use one hand. So this way you can actually tap it to go left or move it to the right or put it in the center, or you can have it slightly larger than the half and you can have it as three or the four by three. So you can go through all these different applications. I know Instagram was one of those where it was just really weird when it was half screen and you had to only view something on just a portion of the screen. Same thing here with that four by three, but you can make it a full screen if you would like. It just happened to be with this update, they had to throw in the word experimental. Change number three is one that they have actually taken away, but I don't really want to say taken away. They basically hid this setting, maybe something for them to work on in the future and make it a little bit better. But when you go inside of the display settings, you had an option to continue apps on the cover screen, which is something that the Samsung Galaxy flips and folds have always been able to do, where if you're using an application when it's opened, when you shut your device, you're able to actually continue on the cover screen. And you can see right here that it is not listed anywhere in this little area. Now I do have a screenshot of what it looked like before this update. So if we go inside of my files, we take a look right over here. There is a few different images that I took, you know, uh, before this update right here, it says inside of the display, it was sitting right here above the screen timeout, which was continue apps on fold, or basically continue the apps when you fold it. So this way you can continue on the outer screen. So this right here is hidden. It's actually not fully taken away from the entire code. So more than likely it will be coming back. Change number four, or I should say the addition of number four. This one's super nice. Anytime that you've ever had a Google Pixel phone and you went inside of the system, you scroll down. And then when you took a look at that software update, it literally just took you to a screen that says if there's an update or not, you tap on search for update. But now you have a full entire dashboard or menu when it comes down to your Pixel for updates. So for the Pixel updates, you have system update. You also have the Google Play system update, and then you also have app updates. So you can take a look at any of the applications that's on your phone to see if there's updates as well, and it'll take you over inside of the Google Play. Feature number five that they were able to make a change to is gonna be dealing with your personal safety application. So personal safety, you can also find if you go inside of the power menu and you hit on emergency. Now, inside of this application, there's a bunch of different things that you can do. You can send a emergency SOS, you can have car crash detection, crisis alerts, safety checks. There's a bunch of different things that you can do, but inside of your info, 
Inside of here, you can go inside of, let's say, medical information. And when you go through here, there's a few additions that was added into this list. Now, I believe a couple of them was definitely the height, the weight, as well as pregnancy status. I believe a bunch of this was already sitting there from before, you know, the blood type, the date of birth, medications, address, but they wanted to add in a few additions. So if you haven't done this yet, you definitely want to. And then it's going to sync across all of your Android devices that is logged in. So then this way, any of your phones will have the same information. Now, the last change with this update is inside of your display settings, and it's dealing with if you have a screen protector on your device. Now, this one has right here the screen protector mode, so it'll increase the touch sensitivity and improve touch when using a screen protector. Now, I can't remember 100% if this was sitting there from before, but I do know that they were able to add in a little notification or a little symbol or something somewhere letting you know that when it's actually being active and it's being used, then you'll be able to notice that you are using, in fact, at that moment, the little screen protector mode, so it's a little bit more sensitive. So now that we went over everything that's brand new, how about we go back inside of that feedback application? So this way we can take a look at the release notes. We can see what was added in or at least changed when it comes down to the bugs. Now this one was just released October 5th. Here is the build number, 0.006 is what it ends with and you have that October security patch. Now scrolling on down, this is just giving you some of the details of what QPR1 is. Now you'll notice that there's a few different phones that are actually not a part of this because at that point in time, when it comes down to December, they will not actually get that next update, which is this one right here. So you'll see that the Pixel 4a and the Pixel 5 is not listed. So that is pretty much done with all of their different updates. But if you own any of these devices here, you will be able to get that next feature drop coming in December. Now scrolling down to take a look at some of the bugs that were fixed with this update right here. So it says top resolved issues. So it looks as if that they have fixed an issue that sometimes caused the settings app to crash when a user ac accessed system Bluetooth settings after pairing a device. Fixed an issue on some devices where the scrolling animation sometimes stuttered or paused and fixed various issues that were impacting system stability and performance. Now, I'm really hoping that, you know, here coming in the very near future, they'll be able to fix that weather inside of the Google Clock application because that is a really fun addition inside of that application. So that is all of the changes when it comes down to beta two of the QPR one. Again, these are all of the brand new features that'll be part of the feature drop happening in the month of December. Now this is beta two. So if you missed everything from beta one where there was actually more changes, then I will be linking that video below this one inside of the description. So this way you can watch the first beta and then now the second beta because I only talk about what has changed with this particular update itself. Now hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.